Hi, and we're back again uh, with another video, this time just showing how to do the scoreboards. Uh, the scoreboards which are adding an objective such as coins or money to your game. Um, and we'll start off with actually quite a simple one, it's only five command blocks here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the first one which is a scoreboard objectives add coins dummy. Uh, by that what you're doing is you're adding an objective called coins um, and then you always have to have the dummy if you're adding an objective. I don't actually know why, uh, but you do. Uh, it's going to be an impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. Let me open that up. Scoreboard, objectives, add coins, which is the name of whatever objective you want to add. Um, obviously coins this time and then dummy. And hit that button. As you can see on the left, it's added coins as an objective. Um, and it's added success successfully. Uh, second, what we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, we're going to set the amount of coins that you want uh, players to start with. Uh, so for me and J Dog, we're going to be setting it at zero. If you've got a realm or a multiplayer game, we want people to start off with a certain amount, maybe as a starting amount. You're going to do, uh, let's say, 100. You could do scoreboard players set at A, uh, which is at all players. Coins, which is the objective name that we've made, uh, spelt exactly the same if you've got capitals or lowercase, space, and then the amount. So for us, it's zero. If you wanted to start with 100 coins, you put that as 100. Um, that's going to be an impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. I'll come off of that. Hit the button. As you can see, we've both been set to zero now, as I say on the top left. Come over to our third command block here. And it's a scoreboard, objectives, set display. So we're going to be setting the display of the objective uh, somewhere on the screen. And we're going to be putting it on the sidebar, which is on the right-hand side of the screen. There's three options here. So you've got list, which is on the pause menu on the right. That's where your names normally appear. Um, you can add it there, and you can also add it below name. Um, to do that, you just change uh, the word sidebar to below name or list. So we're going to put ours as list, it's going to be an impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. And we're going to hit that. Oh, so we actually need to... We actually need to type in the objective, my bad. So, scoreboard objectives, set display, sidebar, and then coins, which is the objective name. Going to hit that. Um, as we were doing that, as you did see as well, um, if you do actually want to clear it, you just take whatever the name is um, so you don't actually have an objective on there hit the button and it will take it away and if you add it back on you'll see that pops back on again in fact I'll show you below name uh, and list as well so if we pop in list there, tap that, now you see on the right hand side it's now coins and then our names. If you change the list over to below name, but you can now see it below the player's name. So that can be helpful for a lot of things really, I mean for this you might want to do ranks, which I do have another video coming uh, quite shortly about that, you can put certain ranks for players and stuff, but for now we're going to be concentrating on money uh, or coins. So we've set the display, now if you want to add coins or remove coins to the player, so scoreboard, players, add, so you're going to be adding, at A, uh, I've put at A here, so we're going to be adding one coin to both me and J Dog. Um, followed by coins, which is the objective, and then one, which is the amount of coins we want to give him. Impulse unconditional needs redstone again. I'm going to hit that button. As you can see, we've both been given one coin each. Now, let's say I need to remove a coin for myself. It's going to be a scoreboard, players, remove, so removing the coin, at P, because I only want to take this away for myself. Um, at A is all players, at P is the closest player, so it's going to be me um, as I'm pressing the button. Coins, the objective name, and then the number of coins, so one. Um, I want to take one away from me, you can see there, gone back to zero. And that's pretty much the basic principle there. 
Um, what I will be doing is making another video quite shortly about how to remove offline players. Uh, this is because, as you'll probably find out, um, it adds people on, but as they leave the realm or game, um, it will leave a little thing saying offline player. Uh, it's not too hard, it's only a few more command blocks, um, but I will make a video in the next few days for that as well. Uh, keeps it a lot neater and you don't have huge lists of players left offline. Uh, thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Leave a like and subscribe if you really liked it. Thank you very much, bye bye.